Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to do my January favorites. Can you believe it's January or the end of January already? Um, yeah, it's about to be February, and January flew by so quickly. I don't even know where it went. I don't know. And it's still cold here in Florida, which is totally okay by me because I hate the heat. I'm in the wrong spot in the world. So, okay, so let's just jump right in without my babble, psycho babble. Okay, so I have a few beauty products here that are my favorites for the month, but then I also have two random favorites. Um, so let's start with the beauty products. Um, and this month I wanted to talk about a brush. Um, this is by the brand Morphe. This is their S19 brush and it's just basically this like big dome powder brush. Um, and I freaking love this brush. First of all, these are super soft. <laughs> these are super soft and this is also vegan. And I've really been liking this for my bronzer. I don't know, that's obviously not what it's for, but I've been getting a lot of good use out of it with my bronzer. Um, I personally like, when it comes to like a powder brush, I like my powder brush to be like huge and so I could just dust it all over. Um, but yeah, this kind of gets into the contours of my face really nicely for my bronzer. So, I hope I go away and get one next year. It's a sexy freaking snail. Okay, so yeah, love this brush. Love it. Um, if you haven't tried Morphe brushes yet, oh, why is my hair like that? Okay, it's like really annoying or something. Um, if you've not tried Morphe brushes, they're really fantastic. I have two of their eyeshadow brushes, um, and then this foundation brush here, which is the S2 brush. I haven't tried this brush yet, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, this brush, love it. Absolutely. And then the next beauty product I want to talk about is this. I still have it in the packaging. Um, I just recently picked this up from Sephora, and it is the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is actually a new product by Anastasia, um, as if she needs any other kind of brow products. But is, this is the Brow Definer, and what I found super interesting about this is, first of all, it's a bit fatter than the Brow Wiz, um, and it's got a bigger spoolie. Um, and then the other side is an angled nib. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. It's an angled nib. And basically, it's like this. So basically what you can do is you can use the sharper edges to define your brow line. And then you can use the like flat side to shade in the brow. Um, this is freaking genius. I have been using it constantly. I absolutely love it. It's genius. It gets like in all of the right places. Um, so yeah, and mine is in the shade medium brown. Fantastic product. I don't know why I'm keeping it in the box, but I am. If you haven't tried this, I highly recommend going out and buying it. It's smooth. It's smooth. And then the next beauty product I want to talk about is something that I actually just recently hauled, and it is the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector in the shade Light Medium, and it's kind of like a salmon-y, peachy color to kind of counteract. Blah, blah, blah. I can't speak today. I just can't. I sound like an idiot. Okay, uh, to counteract any like dark circles, blueness have under your eyeballs and this is as good as Amelia Liana says this is freaking amazing amazing and I've tried the it cosmetics under eye under eye oh bye bye under eye concealer and I like that I really do um, but I feel like this is just a little bit better because what I find with the it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye is that it's a very, very thick consistency. So this one isn't as thick, but it gets the job done as far as coverage is concerned. So, love it. 
Um, and then the last makeup product is going to be um, this Tarte Blush 24 hour, no, it's not 24 hour, 12 hour Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Dazzled. it's so pretty um and when I first saw it at Sephora I didn't think I was gonna like it because you can't you probably can't tell but it's it's got like small little flecks of gold glitter in it so I didn't really think that I was gonna like it because of that but actually the flecks of glitter don't show up on your skin at all so I really 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 love this really love this blush it's so pretty on the skin um, and a little goes a long way, and Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes last forever, and they're amazing, and everybody loves them, so no said there. Um, and then I've got two skincare products for the month of January that I've absolutely been loving. Um, and first is this, I don't even have to read these. Um, this is the Nude Skincare Purified Deep Cleansing Mask, and it's in this little so cute. Um, and you open it up and it smells awful. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and it comes in this little pot. And to be honest, I was kind of bummed when I first purchased this because it comes in this big like cellophane sealed box and you think that there's like, ooh, it's going to be a big sized product. And then you open up the pot and you've got like literally like, it's not a whole lot in there. So I've been using it sparingly. I think it was $39.99. Um, but this stuff is amazing. It does what it says it's going to do. It kind of just gets all of the gunk out of your pores. And I love me some masks. And this is the first product I've tried from this brand. But I've heard really good things. And this had really great reviews on the Sephora website. Um, the one thing I will say about this that was kind of surprising is that most masks are like a smooth you just put it on it's smooth um, but this has like little beads of something in it so like they're really grainy and they're black you can see that there but yeah and it doesn't smell very nice you leave it on your face for like 10 minutes 10 15 minutes and then wash it off um, and I find that when I wake up in the morning my face feels like a butt um, and then the last skincare product that I've absolutely been loving, and I don't know how I've gone this long without trying this because I love this brand. And it is the Ultra Repair Hydra Firm Sleeping Cream by First Aid Beauty. <sighs> Such a good product. Such a good product. Normally I just use like a regular moisturizer on my face at the end of the night. Um, I've never really done a like specific sleeping hydration moisturizer, um, but I really, really, really like this. Now when it says Ultra Repair Hydra Firm Sleeping Cream, I did not expect it to look like this when I opened it. You can't see that. It's basically a solid. solid there's like it's like kind of difficult to like get it out because um, it's not like cream well I mean it is but it's more solid than it is like a I don't know how to explain it it's like it literally is really firm so you have to like get it out of there and it's kind of like a whipped consistency but more firm than it is like creamy. I don't know how to explain it, but it is extremely rich on the face. It doesn't make your face feel super oily, but when I wake up in the morning, dude, my, you can't see that. My face is so soft. My face feels so moisturized. It just feels amazing. Um, this is for sure like one of my favorite like moisturizers I've ever used. So, and that's saying a lot. So if you've not tried this, I definitely give it a go. And it's pretty inexpensive compared to most moisturizers. Like a lot of moisturizers out there are like the which one am I thinking of? Like some of them are just like extremely expensive. They're like sixty dollars plus. This was thirty five or thirty five or thirty nine, somewhere in between there. So not that bad compared to like some other moisturizers. So really good. 
And then my last two favorites are actually kind of random. One is a food favorite, and it is the Cadbury Dairy Milk Roast Almond Milk Chocolate. So good. So good. I usually, I didn't know that, I went to Walmart the other day for something specific, I can't remember. Um, oh, I haven't taken my Christmas tree down yet to hang it in the box. Big enough to fit my Christmas tree, and I didn't find one anywhere else, so I went to Walmart, still didn't find one there. Um, anyways, so I was perusing the chocolate section, or the candy section at Walmart, and I found that they do indeed carry dairy milk. Um, but, and I've seen dairy milk at, like, Target and Walgreens and CVS before, um, but not this one. This one's got the almonds in it, and I love this one. I've only ever gotten it once before. Um, but, yeah. It's some good stuff. It's very yummy. Very yummy. 210 calories. Is that per bar? What's the serving size on this? Total calories per package, 540. Oh, God. I have a fat soul. All right, and then my last favorite is something I just recently purchased, so I can't really say that I've loved it for the whole month of January, but I love it that much. And I've had it most of January, so. Um, and that is a book, and it's actually a cookbook. And it is by Giada De Laurentiis, and it's called Happy Cooking. I love to cook and bake, and to be completely honest with you, I might not be the best cooker and baker in the entire wide world, but I like to make an attempt. And I, when I was a teenager, my father, um, my real dad, used to call me all the time whenever he was watching the Food Network channel, and he'd be like, Sonia, you're on TV. He'd be like, what are you talking about? And he was always talking about her because he swore I looked exactly like her. I i don't see a resemblance at all. She's ten times hotter than I am. But anyways, um, so I've always actually really liked her. She's Italian, I believe, so obviously she's got a little bit of an Italian twist to all of her recipes. But this has been a fantastic book, and what I really like about it is I am a vegetarian, actually, and um, although there are a lot of, like, recipes in here that have meat and um, dairy and stuff like that in them, there are actually quite a few vegetarian and vegan options in here as well, which I was pleasantly surprised about. Um, and the illustrations are just so beautiful, and there's actually quite a few things that I've already post-it noted that sounded like really yummy to me that I wanted to give a go. Let's see. Oh, yes. Crispy zucchini and potato pancakes right here. Don't know if this page can tell. Um, but I'm a huge fan of potato pancakes, so I'm going to try those. And then there was one other thing in here that looked amazing and it is these mini almond butter and strawberry muffins mm. although the one thing I will say that I noticed on these is that there's like no she hasn't specified like the calories or anything like nutritional facts on any of the recipes which is kind of a bummer but that is okay I love this book I would definitely recommend going into your local bookstore and just perusing through it to see if it's the kind of cookbook that you feel like you need in your house because I felt like it was the kind of cookbook I needed in my house and she's so pretty and I love it and that's all that you need to know. So that is the end of my January favorites. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. And happy end of January.